Good morning, welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel, my name is Chrissy, and today I'm gonna to be giving you a prediction reading for the 6th of November. Now, if you are new here, um, please consider subscribing, hit those like buttons, guys, and we all talk to each other here, so feel free to comment down below. Um, my videos as well, guys, are for entertainment purposes, so take from them what you choose. All I can do is give you the information that comes through on the day. Um, I am shooting inside because it's a bit windy outside today and it does interfere with the sound of my videos. Um, so it's sunny, but it's also very windy. So hence I'm inside while my daughter's doing her homework in the lounge room, I'm back in her room. But bonus, I've got the doggos with me. Guys, I've got Sophie here. Say hi to everybody, Soph. <laughs> with the tail. And I've got Spocket. Here he is. Oh, can you just see? Lift your head up, Spock. Say hi. Oh, he's still not great. He's improving. He's definitely improving. Um, guys, I know you're always asking me about how Sprocket's going. And look, he is improving. He is getting better. His energy levels are coming up. He's on it. We've been changing his diet, guys. He had some sort of obstruction. We're thinking we're pretty sure in his intestines with bones. So he's off bones. Um, and he's doing really well. His breasts really improved. So whatever was happening, like in his gut or whatever... I don't know, but he's still tired from it. So I'd say his body's probably still fighting some sort of infection. But anyway, he has improved a lot. So that's a good thing. But I'm st he's still eating lots of veggies and raw meat. And we've just got him on a very, very healthy diet. And he's not coping on his diet. He keeps going into the rubbish bins and making a big mess. And anyway, you know what it's like, guys, on a diet. It ain't easy. It gets a bit desperate for food. And Sprocket's whole life is food. It's his one passion was bones and food. So as you said, Sue, he's missing his bones. He's probably grieving them, I would say. Um, now, first off, enough of my doggos. Um, we've got a little bit of admin from Australia here, guys. Oh, not just Australia. Sorry, this is global. Oh, I can give you the Australian one first. Um, we've got Elbow at the moment, and he's heading to China. I was just telling you that the other day. He's meeting with Xi Ping, which can't be good, and apparently it's about trade sanctions. Um... And he was asked what did he want to achieve as he was getting into his, yes, uh, probably diesel vehicle, not electric, I'm sure. Um, Elbow said, um, we want to have constructive dialogue and build on our friendship. So that's what Elbow wants from Xi Ping, to build on the friendship. I don't know how you can have friendship with Xi Ping, to be quite honest. Just quoting what Elbow said, guys. Um, the other thing I just wanted to mention too is we've got, yes, Prince William, the, the, the Royal Kardashians are back on the world stage with Prince William's Earth Shot in Singapore. Wasn't it Jab Cinder that's associated with this Earth Shot? Someone is. Pretty sure it's her. Anyway, he's in Singapore for that. So we're probably going to get a bit of William in our face. God knows what other famous people will be there. Um, and also, I thought, which was really, really odd, guys, and let me know what you think of this. Um, they showed ScoMo and Boris Johnson. Um, ScoMo is our leader before Elbow, Scott Morrison. And they were both walking along in their protective, bulletproof, oh, what a clown show, vests. Sorry, guys, it makes me tired, some of this world news. Um, they were walking along in Israel. Um why they're there, what they're doing there, I don't even know. Neither of them really have any purpose much anymore, do they? Aren't they both pretty much out of politics? But anyway, so that's the latest. They're walking along together, Boris and Skomo in Israel, which I thought was kind of very strange. Um, also, guys, don't forget, at the end of my videos now, I pick out two random viewers, you guys watching my channel, and I put do two cards each. So I get two viewers at the end of each reading. So stand, uh, stay around for that, guys, rather. And um, I'll give you two cards um, each. One from, what is it, Angel Answers, which is this one, and a Soul Expression as well. So that's what I'm doing now, guys. I'm, I'm starting to pull a little card for you viewers out there. Um, which I think is nice and just a little bit of fun, guys, too. So stay tuned for that at the end. All right, I'll close my eyes, guys. We'll get started. Cheers, everyone. I got my cup of tea today. 
I think the dogs are pretty tired, so they'll probably have a good sleep. Hopefully there's not too much snoring. <laughs> Never know on this channel, do we? All right, I'll close my eyes and get started. We'll see what comes up. Gosh, I'm getting the um the bulls are ready to charge. I'm getting this picture of a bull scratching its leg, which are the government leaders. They're ready to charge at the little people. But it's showing all of us, especially the BS detectors, we've got our red fabric. And it's playing that music. Dun -dun 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 it's like the El Toro kind of dun -dun 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 -dun. how's that music go? The Spanish music El what do you call it in the El Salvador? What do you call the the Spanish bullfighter? Well, we're like the Spanish bullfighter. We've got this red flag and we can sort of direct government now um, where we want them to go. So it's showing me this music of the the bullfight because the, the bull is lining all of us up again, um, meaning the global elites are lining us up. They want to attack and knock us over, basically. But we're... Every, and not just us guys, not just us BS detectors on this channel. Other people are wanting to um, redirect government as well. They don't want to just comply and go down the road that the government's wanting us to. And they don't want to be knocked over by government like the bull with the horns just coming at them and just <laughs> knocking them into the air. Um, so I feel like other people too have got their red, oh, what do you call red cape? I suppose we could call it a red cape. And we've all got our red capes. So ready um, if government comes at us. And this is just a precautionary measure. We may not need it. I'd say on this channel we probably won't need it, but we're always prepared, guys. It's like actually it's showing me like the sword and the shield. I always talk about us with the Braveheart, Mel Gibson Braveheart image of the sort of warrior with the sword and the shield. But this time it's like we've got the red cape to protect ourselves, We can protect ourselves by redirecting the government with our red capes. That's what I'm saying. We're taking charge of our own destinies now. That's what I'm getting. But so are a lot of other people that are waking up. They don't want what the governments are coming at them with and trying to knock them over with. They don't want it. And half of it doesn't make sense anyway. Um, and the thing is, you know what I never can understand? And I know, John, you always help me with this. Um, I never can understand why they keep putting interest rates up to help the economy. But the thing is, by putting interest rates up, people can't spend. And when people aren't spending, how's it all going to improve? So I don't know. I just get very confused about all this, guys. It, none of any of it makes sense to me. And I'm, I'm guessing you guys are the same. So we've got our red capes and we're ready to protect ourselves if needed. If needed. It's like we're in charge of our own destiny. That's what I'm getting. All right. I'm getting this visual of us guys, and you know how we often get the picture, the visual of Kermit the Frog singing Rainbow Connection on the rock, and he's got his little banjo, and it's just a beautiful, peaceful, babbling brook. I feel like we're us, this is you guys watching my channel. We're on one side of the stream and the people waking up are on the other. And they're trying to get across the stream to us. Um, not literally, this is just an analogy. They want to get across the stream now and away from their government. So they're looking at ways to oh, cross that bridge, um, come across on stepping stones, walk across a log. It's kind of showing me they're wanting to find... Um, a clear path to get back to their freedom is what they're getting. See, if you're here watching my channel, you're pretty much awakened and, and you're seeing and realising and intuitively understanding that there's a much bigger picture here at play, that um, these government elites and these global leaders are trying to bring in something that none of us want. So we've chosen to remove ourselves from government, which is on one side of the stream, and these people on the other side of the stream are now wanting to remove themselves, which is the people waking up because they're waking up. I always talk about the crime investigation board where they're piecing it all together that, oh, well, maybe this is all interconnected. So now they're wanting to get away. So they're looking at the how. How do we get over a very turbulent river, <laughs> um, meaning 
everything that's being thrown at them. How did they cross it without drowning is what I'm getting. How did they get through all of this without drowning? Um, and again, it's showing us like these beacons of light. Like I always talk about our shining our light bright, but we're like the lighthouses. If you think of the lighthouse in the storm analogy again, it's that, you know, every three seconds the light beeps and it steers the ships um, safely around the cove or whatever you call it, the cliff face or whatever. Um, but we're steering them to to safety. That's what I'm getting. But we're on the other side of the stream. So people are looking at ways of, oh, well, they're saying getting across the turbulent times because um, people are sick of it. They're sick of it. Gosh, in the UK, you guys are sick of it. Sushi came at you guys really hard with a variety of things and it hasn't gone to plan. And so now people are wanting to jump ship and get to the other side <laughs> where we all are which is what we call now terra bella which is our new earth that we've created meaning beautiful earth um more people want that they want peace tranquility um comfort in their life they don't want to be stressed and living in fear and anxiety and all these things that are really negative people want to get out of that now so that's why i'm getting us on this other side shining our light Trying to show people the direction of the direction to safety is what I'm getting. Um, in Canada, this is happening too, and you guys are confirming that, which is absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Turdo is not winning friends and influencing people over there. I keep saying Pierre's doing really well in the polls because people don't want all the transgenderism stuff and all this stuff that makes no sense. And he's been called out for all his lies and corruption over the past four years. Um, let's just hope more people start to see it. So there's this in Canada too. People are wanting to jump ship um, and go to safety. Um, well, and create their own destiny. It's like I was just saying to you guys. So that's what I'm getting. We've got to keep shining our light. Um, and I'm getting that Doobie Brothers song. Keep on shining your light. Gonna make everything pretty, mama. Gonna make everything all right. And I ain't got no worries, cause I ain't in no hurry at all. See, the words are significant in that. And I think that song's Old Black Water, Keep On Running, Mississippi Moon, won't you keep on shining on me. Keep on shining your light. See, the words are significant in that Doobie Brothers song. And the water is that Old Black Water, Keep On Running. Um, I'm just getting that image. So we're on the other side of the stream, guys which is a good place to be, but other people are wanting to get there now. They're wanting to get there, which is good because it means they're waking up and they're seeing the truth and all the garbage and the BS they're being fed. It's happening. It's just been slow, that's all, but it is happening, guys. Um, all right. Gosh, I'm getting London. Oh, there's a lot going on over there. I still feel it's about these Israel-Palestine protests and things um i'm getting there's a lot of pain in london at the moment and i would say that's where your protests are in england uk you might have others as well but i feel like there's this real pain um there's a lot of pain and hurt in people um oh, when people come together like this you think about it if you've got people already which we talk about here in anger beast mode waking up um, going through their dark nights, their soul depression, whatever they're going through, their anger's rising up and you've got this on mass, that brings a lot of hostility. So I am feeling there's a lot of, and see, anger to me is a lot of pain that people have suppressed for years and years and years and it just sort of comes spewing out. So I feel like in London, there's a big body of pain at the moment um, being transferred to a lot of people. So it's very important, guys. I always say to you to stay well away and out of these protests. Don't even get even near them. Even if you're involved with them, don't go near them because you're going to take on all the pain and hurts. Um, and remember to whenever, I've got videos on this actually. I'll only leave one over here. Whenever someone is suffering or going through anger or anything like this, they will often project it onto you. They'll try and put it onto you because they want you to feel as bad as they do. So stay away from any of these huge marches. I'm just getting this for London because the pain, the pain is on mass. 
and and it's very easy as sensitives intuitives to pick that up so i do feel there's an enormous pain healing vibe happening in london at the moment um i, I don't think it's on the turn just yet either i i think it's still building um and they're allowing it to happen of course they are just like in australia allowing it to happen Pretty much, I think we could say globally here, in America it's happening in the unis, like I told you yesterday, the Jews can't go out. They can't wear their little hats. They can't be themselves. Like how is this even happening in this day and age? How is this happening that people can't walk out their door? You know, once upon a time it was the Black Lives Matters thing and all this stuff, and now we've got the is Israel and pro-Palestine Lives Matters. Like it's the same thing, just different scenarios, isn't it? Oh, I don't understand how people can be like this to each other, but that's just my opinion. Um, so this is what we've got going on. A lot of pain rising to the surface. So be very, very careful in London. And it's still festering. So don't go anywhere near it if you're living over there. It's going to, I feel like it's going to get really quite ugly yet. Um because I keep saying yours are like the biggest. You must have a lot of migrants from these countries because it's going to get quite volatile. They get um, sushi and that are going to have to get really good control of it because it's almost borderline and getting out of hand. Um, we've got the big racial discrimination thing going on again, which we knew was coming because the government wants it. They feed it. If you're going to allow your marches to go ahead against each other, that's feeding it. How come we couldn't march against our freedom for um, fighting against mandates and that? And we were all shot with rubber bullets, sonic devices, you name it, capsicum spray, the whole lot. But all these people can just do whatever they like and they're allowed to do it. And and the excuse is they don't want to, you know, they don't want it to get worse than, than it possibly could. But, I mean, people can't, Jews can't walk out their door. So I don't understand any of this. Um, it's very confusing times, isn't it, guys? I mean, we see what's going on. We know it's all about the division and it's working very well. All right, let's see what else we get. Sprocket's still snoring away. Oh, poor thing. I feel like we're all at a junction in the road now. Hmm, this is everybody, but it's shown me everyone's taking their own junction. Like we're taking a different junction to the people waking up. Everybody's at a crossroads like this. It's showing me like a four-way junction. We've all come to this crossroads. So you can take this path, the path in front of you, or the path to the right. So you can go left, right, or straight. So we've all got decisions to make now. That's what I'm getting. We've all got to, decisions to make Um in how we move forward. But we're all, it's sort of saying, it's saying we're all choosing different paths. And I think what the guides are trying to say is nothing's very clear. Like which road do you take? It's not very clear. What I'm getting is even for us guys, there's no signposts. So there's no signposts saying, you know, this will lead you to there. Or if you keep going forward, you'll end up here. Or turn right and you'll go there. There's no signage. So what I'm getting now from this is that now moving forward, this is everyone including us and the people waking up and everybody else, everyone's going to have to start listening to their gut feelings, their instincts, their senses, their knowing. We keep saying it. It's this opening up of the sixth sense is what the awakening and the shift is about. Well, now people are really going to have to start to use it because there's no great guideposts. We know that here. We've been asking the guides, haven't we, for a while now, guys. What is next? How do we create our life forward? You know, weeks ago we got that picture of um, Mel Gibson, the Braveheart guy, standing on the, like, Scottish hills with this big blank canvas to create his own life. But even we get lost. How do you, What do you do? How do you do that? So we keep kind of asking the guides that. But it's saying now you've got to um, start to use your, like, thinking mind to create the way forward it's it's listening to your gut following your signs all the things that we talk about so now these other people are having to do it too but we're all having to do it because we're all at a jump 
a junction and a crossroads where we have to start making decisions around our life, but there's no signposts. So I guess, and that's probably why we get a lot of manifesting here. We have to look for the signposts, um, the guidance, um, our intuition, gut feelings. The, these are the ways we get guided. They're our new guideposts. That's what the guides are saying to us. Oh, that's confusing. Um, they're our new signposts and guideposts. Um, that's what helps us to move in the direction. That's like when I say to you, when you do manifest something, um, it's a good feeling. So keeping yourself in that good feeling place um, helps you to find your manifestations so you know you're on your right path and you're on track. Um, did any of you go and watch Esther Hicks the other day? I was talking about Esther Hicks, wasn't I, and how to, well, you're sort of creating your reality, but it's learning to flow. That's why I wanted you to go and check out Esther Hicks about learning to flow and dropping the oars. Because that's also how you start to find your, well, like the compass, the true north. You find your true north. Um, all right. Let's see if there's anything else today. Ooh, better keep looking for our signs, guys, and, and feeling and sensing and knowing. <laughs> but other people are having to do it now because that's what the fifth dimension is about, isn't it? Um, it's about our higher consciousness, isn't it? And and, and probably talking to your higher consciousness too. All right. Oh, I'm getting Columbia. Columbia. Isn't that a big drug capital, Columbia? I've just got this feeling it is. I'm just getting um, uh, big drug wars. Oh, might be some shoot 'em ups. <laughs> That's not uncommon in the drug world, is it? Between drug gangs, I guess you could say. So I'm getting for Colombia. There's big infighting, big war, big drug wars in Colombia. It's saying to me that things aren't very festive. Maybe Colombia had a lot of festivals, but things aren't festive at the moment. There's a very dark underbelly. In Colombia, there's a real darkness over Colombia. Just getting this very dark cloud. Um, and people are quite frightened in Colombia. That's just what I'm getting. Um, they're frightened to come outside. There might be a lot of gangland shootings in Colombia. I don't really know. But I know it is big on drugs, isn't it? Colombia. Hmm. Big, big money. Big, big money. Big, big drugs. Big, big power. And it's, it's changed the way little people live their lives there as well. See, it's all that corruption again, isn't it? And the global elites probably live there too. We don't know who's connected to who, do we? But I do feel we know the drug industry is really growing out of control. Um, gosh, they talk about that. What is it? Fentanyl and the, all the ice and all the meth. I don't even know. There's that many things. I'm not big on the drug world, but... Um, this is a really big, massive money-making industry that Colombia plays a big part in it, is what I'm getting. But there's going to be a lot of these breakout wars, um, shoot 'em ups shoot 'em ups Could be drive-bys, things that put little people in danger, is what I'm getting. Oh, for some reason, I'm getting satin. Hang on a minute. I'm getting that satin could be fixed-dicious. Fixed-dicious, is that the word? Fixed-dicious, um, meaning like fiction. Is satin real? We don't know what's real, guys. They could tell us anything. All the planets and all this, they could just make anything up. On this channel, we have a lot of questions around a lot of the moon and the landings and different things like that. So I'm getting Saturn could be a little bit fixed-dicious. Is it real? We don't know. Hang on a minute. And they talk about the rings of Saturn, the rings of Saturn. Oh, I just keep getting it's a creation. It's a creation. The guides keep saying it's just a creation. It's just a creation. A 
and they're saying like different things sell like the fact that it's got these rings around it and the layers it sells a story so we might start to hear a bit more about satin mm, what about satin Oh, they're saying that satin creates its own climate. Oh, of course it would. It's got to all be about climate. So we might start hearing something about satin. Oh, something about it creates its own climate. How would they know this stuff? They wouldn't. They just make it up. I'm sure of it. Anyway, it's just what I'm getting. So we're going to be hearing about Saturn. Isn't Saturn supposed to be a fair way from Earth? I don't know, but anyway, we're going to hear about some planets and Saturn's going to be one of them. All right. See, I don't understand. We know the Indian moon landing. We're all a little sceptical of it here on this channel, the BS Detectors. But they even said that India was going to start working now on landing on the sun or going towards the sun. Like, Why? If the sun's this big, bright, hot, boiling ball, I don't get it. What is the purpose of all that? Nothing makes sense, does it, guys? Nothing. Um, on mainstream media, pretty much, anyway. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> God, we've been talking here for about a week about the, yes, immortal CV virus. I won't talk too much about it because we know it's, only one narrative on YouTube about the jab wheel. Um, but it's saying just don't even worry about it, guys. That's what they're saying. They're saying just forget it. People, they reckon people aren't falling for it. Uh, we know there's going to be a handful that do. But the rest of the people are like, oh, yeah, just another subvariant, another strain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what most people's attitude is, the people waking up. The people waking up just aren't interested anymore. I kept saying that the other day. They're using that as a main tool to put fear and anxiety in that in people because they know it works and they know the mass psychosis worked. But what's happened now is, see, what they're forgetting is that people are struggling to live. So these are the things I say in the Great Reset Agenda storybook that they've been writing, Clown World book, that we call it here. They haven't considered all the possibilities and the probabilities of what could happen but when people don't have any money and they don't have it well their their, their lifestyle's like financially going through the roof that's a lot to think about how you're going to keep all your balls in the air and keep feeding your family and um, keep your job alive and keep your business running like these are massive things that people are now having to deal with so really dealing with the cv ain't high on their priority list anymore um they're just like, yeah, whatever. I've had it like four or five times. Some people probably, even with the picky wheel, pickies, they would have even had it three, four or five times, some people. <sighs> so they're kind of thinking, no, I've got immunity. I don't even care about that at the moment. So don't worry, guys. That's what the guys are saying. People are seeing through it. And it's not even that they're seeing through it. They probably still think it's real, but they're not as fearful of it because half of them have had it. We all know people who've had it. Anyway, I don't want to keep talking about it because we know where it goes on this channel. Um, so that's what I'm getting. The uptake on that is very getting lower and lower and lower and lower. And I said it was because we know mm -hmm. there's been a few people like having a lot of heart problems and things, but the uptake is getting lower and lower and lower. Um, how's one of you telling me that someone lost someone too with a heart attack? who'd had the picky the day before or whatever, and then they went and got the picky as well. And it's just, it's like they can't join the dots. It's a complete madness to us. But anyway, we won't go down that road here because we don't want to get a strike and get our comments wiped off. All right, um, I'll see if there's one more thing and then we'll pull some cards, guys. Gosh, I'm getting for us on this channel, and this is you guys who are awake now, I'm getting we're all interconnected souls. We're all interconnected. Um, and I think we'll probably agree with that because we've, for some re reason we've all like vibrated together here and we've sort of met on my channel. But we've also vibrated other people into our lives that are very similar to us that with our thinking and the way we perceive the world and just our viewpoint. Like we, we're so shocked that other people can't see the things that we see. 
Um, so it's good to have people to share that. So I feel like we are in some way connected souls. That's what the guides are saying. So maybe we talk a lot here about the star seeds. Perhaps we are put here um, to help shine that light and be that beacon of hope. But we are connected souls. Apparently we're connected souls who have all vibrated together. See, it's that manifesting, <laughs> creating. Um, so that's what I'm getting, which is kind of nice, isn't it? It's nice to have people who understand you because... I think, like I say, for most of our lives, a lot of us feel like we never quite fitted in to, I don't know where, to society or to our families or just with friends. A lot of us are probably hermits, I would say. We do a lot of things on our own and we like our own company. Um, not all of us, but certainly a lot of us. Um, how are you guys going also? Just wanted to run by with your ailments aches, pains, and ailments. This has been tough. I know, Louise, your back's still really bad. My back's been shocking. My knee's still bad. Jen, yours is too. Taffy, there's a heap of us. So um, I've gone back to doing my Qigong because I just don't know what else to do. And apart from taking drugs, which is all the doctors want to pump us with, I don't do that. Like, I don't take them if I'm really desperate, like a neurofin or something. Um, so I'm just trying to get the energy moving in my body again so that I can just keep moving i guess we've got to just keep moving um which is not easy so let me know how you guys are going if anyone's healing or moving through things um you certainly feel at times like your body's kind of breaking down and that's what i was saying to you guys is it is it that we're really meant to get back into our like spiritual being and this is just the vessel that we're traveling in and it's it's irrelevant to um when we're tuning in with all our spirit soul and spirit kind of thing i don't know i just have a lot of questions around all this stuff anyway enough of that how about we pull some cards guys um we'll pull um uh, let's pull doreen virtue this is for everybody let's see what we get today dogs are quiet today aren't they exhausted after the week <laughs> oh they're funny miracles oh I'm getting that Mariah song. There can be miracles if you believe. Is that the song Believe? Who's she singing that with? Whitney Houston or Celine Dion? I don't know. But I'm getting that by Mariah Carey. <laughs> At least it's not the Christmas song. <laughs> um, miracles. So trust and believe. Miracles are happening, guys. They are. We don't even have to worry. Miracles are occurring around the awakening process. Some cards have got nudes on them. And you know YouTube won't let me show boobies and all that. We get in trouble. Oh, soulmate. That's cute. That reminds me of like the twin flame connection or soulmates as well, where people are connected together. But it's really just that coming up together. And the thing is with soulmates, I think of it as an energy. It's people coming together. Like we were just talking about, guys, us all being interconnected. It's an energy of people coming together. That's pretty good confirmation, I would say. Has anyone found the Sphinx? That was what I was getting you to manifest. I don't think anyone's found it. I told you it'd be hard. Blessings. Oh. Look, we're being showered with blessings. Little rose petals or something like that. Blessings. And I guess to us, a blessing would be that people wake up by themselves without us having to say or do anything. That would be a blessing to me. It really would. Um, that's how I'm seeing that. Healing angel cards. Blessing in disguise if everybody wakes up. <laughs> Let's get an outcome for everyone. Oh! Cards flipping and flopping everywhere. Oh! Cards are dropping out of the pack. Oh, they really are. They're so jumpy today. See if we can get one. Ooh. Can't get over how tired the dogs are. Compassion. When you show greater compassion towards yourself, the universe automatically responds by showering you with greater blessings. Thank God. We've got the blessings again. So important to have compassion for yourself. 
Because if you can't be kind to yourself, who else is going to be kind to you? And, and you get back what you put out, you know. You be kind to others, automatically responds by sharing you with greater blessings. So the more kindness and the kinder you are to yourself, the better um, everything seems to flow and go in your life. I guess that's what they're saying. Now, guys, we're going to do our two viewers today. Oh, yes. Um, yesterday we did Jen and Tarika. And today I'm going to be doing, first off, I'm going to be doing you, Ronnie B. Hello. Hey, Ronnie. Um, now, first off, we're going to get you an uh, Angel Answers card. Here we go. Let's see what we get. I'll just take the book out of there and give them a little shuffle. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what we get, Ronnie. I hope you're going well out there. These are just for a little bit of fun, guys. So I do two of these at the end of every video. Just for a little bit of guidance. I think we all really need a little bit of guidance, don't we, in our... Um, Daily life, getting through the clown show. It's not easy, is it, guys? Helpful people. So, Ronnie, it looks like you need to surround yourself with helpful people. And people can help us in many ways. Um, they can help us literally physically, like with, for example, massage or just being a kind ear. Or I'm also getting that you can also search for helpful people, like online, like YouTube, learn off other people i mean you're here watching my video we share things too but i'm just i'm getting for you just um helpful people surround yourself with helpful people and i'm also thinking that that means people who uplift you um people who energize you and uplift your soul make sure you're around people that help you not people that drag you down that's the message i'm definitely getting for you ronnie have people around you that uh, see, they're sort of, it's like they're bearing gifts to you there. People that, re, well, people that energize you and uplift your spirit and your soul. That's what I'm getting for you there. Um, I'm also going to um, pull a soul expression card for you, Ronnie, as well. Let's see what message we get for you today. Awareness. I lovingly allow my awareness to open. I surrender. I clear my vibration raises and my awareness grows so probably awareness of who the people are around you i would say as well but um allowing allowing and being aware being aware i clear my vibration raises my awareness grows just allow things to flow to you and allow people to bring you um kindness and nurturing and uplift your spirit as well you got to allow it in as well and be aware of it you know, there's nothing wrong with um, appreciating people in your life too and letting them know too, Ronnie. I think that's important because I think you actually do do a lot of that yourself. You give and give and give, but now it's actually telling you to allow and and receive is what I'm getting from that card. Very good. I hope that helped you, Ronnie. <laughs> It's just a little bit of fun, guys. So hopefully some, some bits of guidance might help. Um, the next person I'm going to pull a card for is, of course, Louise Hyden. Hey, Louise. You always watch my videos and comment all the time, so I thought it'd be nice to give you a turn today. Everyone's going to get a turn, guys. I'm just doing them at random. Um, we're going to pull some an angel answer for you, Louise. Let's see what you get. I think you've had a bit of a hectic week, you've been saying. So a little bit of guidance would probably be nice for you to uh, get through this week. Oh, the cards are dropping. <laughs> oh, look for a sign. Here you go. <laughs> That's a bit general, isn't it? Look for a sign. Let's see what we get. Hang on. And they're saying, don't be scared to put the feelers out. Um what you want, you'll create. What you want, you'll create. So I feel like you've got your mind on something and you've got to create it now. It's sort of saying, um, it's showing me like, it could be heating. It's showing me like a heater or warmth or coziness in your life. I'm getting that. What you want, you'll create. You'll create this coziness. I'm just getting this feeling of, um, it's showing me like um, logs burning. It's showing me a heater. It's showing me like a beautiful throw rug. For some reason, you need to be cozying up, Louise. Um, maybe keeping your back warm with the heat pack, something like that. 
<laughs> um, I'm just getting look for a sign. You'll get guided though. Something will come up in your life that's going to really bring you comfort is what I'm getting. But it feels like it could be physical, like something to do with warmth. Um, I'm just getting that. So look for a sign, Louise, around this. Um, it might be something that you've been wanting to create for a while and, and you've got to look for the sign to guide you to it. So open your eyes, Louise, and start to get that comfort in your life. It's very important, apparently, to helping with your back is what I'm getting. Comfort yourself. It's like showing you wrapped in a, it's almost showing me like an Indian kind of, um, I'm getting that Native American Indian, like blanket wrapped around, like um, you're nurturing yourself. That's just the visual that I'm getting. You need to nurture yourself at this time, Louise. It's very important. Um, all right, let's pull you a soul expression card as well, Louise. Oh, this flipped over. Hang on a sec. Oh, God, they're jumpy, jumpy, Louise. Oh, the energy. <laughs> What's happening? Okay, got it. Oh, this is so you. Fairies, meditate with this card to feel the loving support of the fairies. <laughs> we got that yesterday too, didn't we? Um, and you're such a fairy garden person. I know you are, Louise. I know you love your garden. So maybe it's time to add a few fairies or a little mushroom house or something whimsical to your garden, a little dragon. Have you got a dragon? Hmm. Meditate with this card to feel the loving support of the fairies. And, and it's showing um, this visual of you sitting under a tree um, in like a fairy garden with a little a tree with the fairy door on it. I'm just getting that. You love that whimsical escape is what I'm getting for you. You have to start creating in your whimsical fairy garden. I feel like the fairies, the fairies in your garden, as much as it's imagination, which we know fairies, you know, each to their own. I think in Ireland they're very real, aren't they? The little leprechauns. Um, but I'm getting for you, Louise, that you need to really um, start getting creative again in your fairy garden, a sort of thing, because that's where your imagination is really magical. I feel like you have this really great skill of creating um, whimsical, from what you've said even in your garden, I can tell you've got this whimsical creativity in your mind because that's an escape for you. It's like I'm getting that movie like, oh, they're showing me for some reason that movie Labyrinth. Was that with David Bowie? It's like little escapes, you know, like a little bit Alice in Wonderland, Labyrinth. Um, that's where your creative juices need to flow now, back into a little magical, whimsical garden because um, that could get your mind off your back is what I'm getting, Louise. Um, so start putting your thoughts on what you can create. That's just what I'm getting. I hope that helps, Louise. It might help you back. Get your comfort happening and get out in your little whimsical creation spaces it's important to you um because i think what it is too it's saying it's that childlike energy um it's seeing the world through a child's eyes which is very living in the now without the complications so there you go louise hopefully that helped you um so yes look forward to that guys i'm just doing random people at the moment and picking you guys out um i'll just see if there's one more thing guys to finish off the reading today hang on a sec Oh, they're giving me a couple of songs. Hang on. Oh, I'm getting this song. I don't know if it's the Bee Gees. You should be dancing, yeah. Let's stick it in the middle. Yeah, you should be dancing, yeah. We wish we could be dancing. Um, a lot of us struggle to do a bit of dancing these days, but I am getting that song. Is that that might be from Saturday Night Fever or something, is it? Um. Gilbert down the midnight. Oh, it's such an old song. But I'm also getting another song. They were crossing over with this other song. Um, hang on, see if I can get it. Oh, it's by ELO and I just can't get it. Remember the Electric Light Orchestra? Oh my God, that's so old, isn't it? Hang on. Oh, I 
I can't get it, guys. They're just giving me ELO, the band. And I can't get to the song because all I can get is that BG song. Um, let me see if there's one more thing. But ELO, remember ELO? Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue and I can't get it. Oh, let me see if there's something else. Hang on a sec. Oh, they're giving me a Gordon Lightfoot song. Oh, God, we get weird music on here, guys. I'm getting that song. Sundown, you better take care. If I find you've been creeping round my back stairs. Sundown, you think it's a free. I don't know what the words are, but I'm going to leave you with that song today. Gordon Lightfoot, Sundown. Um, I don't know why we get these songs. Sometimes we just get them just because or they mean something to you guys. I never know, but I'm just going to leave you with them today. <laughs> All right, I'm going to say goodbye from Australia. Goodbye from the doggos. Do you want me to show you them? There's Sophie on the ground. Say goodbye, Sophie, with your tail. Say bye, Sophie. <laughs> oh, she's funny. And I've got Spocker. Oh, he's not well, is he, guys? Uh, I'll go and give him a cuddle and a hug from you all. I know you've all been worried about Spocker and He's, he is doing better, but he's still not great. So I'm really keeping an eye on him. All right, I'm going to say goodbye from Australia. Have a wonderful day, everybody. You know the drill, like button. Please comment and subscribe if you'd like to, and I'll talk to you very soon. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day. Bye.